Hi there, Libra, Libra Sun, Moon, and Rising Sun. This is your September 2020 Love Monthly Forecast Reading with me, Chrissy from In The Stars by Chrissy.com. Now, please do know that this is going to be a general reading, so it may or may not tune in necessarily for each and every Libra people out there. So just keep that in mind. Now, September is a month that is really big exciting and you know filled with a lot of energy because mars is actually going to be retrograde this month it's already retrograde as we speak right now and it's going to be in the sign of aries which is opposite of libra if i am going to be speaking to libra rising in particular it's going to be opposite to you which means this is going to be happening in your seventh house of partnership of other people so i feel that this is going to create a lot of impact to a lot of libra people in general um since because it's being internalized in words this can manifest in some form of changes or frictions that um, might happen when it comes to how you connect with other people it doesn't have to be in a commitment but it can be um, but it can be with you know how you connect to other people in general with the people that you talk to every day and it could also be manifesting you know something in inside of you internally when it comes to your emotional well-being all at the same time so let's get into um, what we have over here with the first card of the reading we have the knight of wands which is um this is the so uh, the nine of wands is actually very sudden very unexpected so this could be a situation wherein um you might be wanting some form of change to happen in your life it could be you feel you might feel that you're ready for something it could also be a situation wherein someone enters your life you know someone knocking your door you know that kind of thing because uh, this is the nine of wands you know it's something that you don't expect because it's in your first card of the reading i would say that this is Im impacting you as a whole whether it is something that you're feeling or it could be someone else is is um portraying this energy affecting you so it could be that someone enters your life this month or um, you might be at the point wherein you are wanting some form of change to happen in your life as a whole. It is being crossed over by the Magician, which is, you know, the Magician card has a lot to do with our thoughts, communication as well. It's possible this is a new beginning of some kind. This is a form of intention as well. So being ruled by Mercury and the Magician card, I would say that you know some form of communication with this person or maybe you are wanting some form of action to happen in your life might manifest because the foundation card that you have here is the two of cups maybe we are seeing here that you know some form of changes when it comes to relationships might be um, transpiring here it gives me a feeling we're in if you have been single for quite a while, you might be at the point of your life wherein you are wanting to have a relationship. Even if you might not have thought about this for quite some time, it, it could be that, you know, um, the feeling of wanting to be with someone, wanting to be with a partner or even with a past love might come into your mind. It could also be that someone that you once knew before might be knocking on your door during this time. Your recent past is the Knight of Pentacles and this is a very um, an energy we're in. Everything is at a standstill. Everything seems low. So we are not really seeing much activity right there. Everything is like at ease is what is being said here. At the top of the reading, you are having the chariot card. So the chariot card is a forward movement. And, you know, it's clearly showing us that you are desiring change and you want for things to move forward so if you have been in a position wherein 
you have been you know at the back seat you have been very passive when it comes to your own decision making you could be at the point of your life or in you want something to trigger you want something to change you know anything <laughs> anything is okay you just want to get out of the rut so in the near future we do have the four of pentacles now the four of pentacles is has a lot to do with holding on to to things of maybe of value holding on to things that you really really treasure so it could be that you know this can also be a very stubborn energy wherein you want for change to happen but maybe you are very particular on what kind of change must occur in your life because the four of pentacles has a lot to do with stubborn energy you're holding on into something it's like you wanting to move forward but at the same time you want to move forward in your own terms in your own rules so it has that form of element as well um, this could also be a scenario wherein you might engage with someone who is very free you know they they want to do things in their own pace but you have your thoughts on a different manner and that might clash as well so um it can really manifest in different ways with this you do have the ace of cups um as another card that represents you right now and which tells us that you are you, you know venturing into realms of wanting to start anew with certain things however uh, we also have the existence of the five of pentacles with the other person's point of view and all of that so that might tell us that you know um this is not whatever might be happening to you is not all fun and games i kind of feel that whenever i see the five of pentacles it has a lot to do um, sometimes with suffering but it doesn't mean that you don't want what you're doing it's like it's that energy and feeling we're in even though things are not easy you are still wanting to pursue a certain path because maybe that is what you believe and that is why many many times the five of pentacles will always show up in a reading when it comes to love we're in even though the relationship or the situation is not perfect you feel that it's perfect for you because even though that there are problems and struggles in the relationship you still want to be with that person you still want to be with that relationship because that is what you know real love is all about for many of you of course so I feel that this could be a situation where in there could be some form of communication happening we do have the page of wands over here happening and the existence of the five of wands as the overall card of your reading now um, I just kind of feel that you know yes there's going to be a lot of communication happening for you um, you might be talking to people of new and people of the old as well I just kind of feel that if there are issues or stagnant things happening when it comes to your relationships when it comes to your love life this could be the time wherein you might need to confront that person you might need to confront um, the relationship itself to the things that what needs to be said and when mars is actually in retrograde this is actually very fitting into this reading this is why i am discussing mars retrograde in this video it's because you might feel that you're being attacked because it's being opposed to you libra in aries you know the first house and the seventh house with this an opposition to each other would mean that you know there is going to be some form of confrontation um engagement you know this can be happening in a very positive way or this could be in a situation wherein there is a need to resolve past issues past conflicts so that 
the both of you can actually move forward as you go along i do believe that there is definitely going to be some form of mutual engagement that is going to be happening here and even though we do have difficult cards i am getting here the feeling we're in some form of positive um development can actually manifest we're in an opportunity can arise so that you know um some form of love can bring in as well so it's not the very ideal um scenario i would say it's not a, a very romantic or very very flimsy kind of situation we're in there is a love at first sight or anything like that i kind of feel that this is going to create a lot of emotional disruption inside of you because it's going to trigger some form of you know the feelings that you've had before especially if you had heartaches before if if someone has broken your heart before these things might come up once again and um this might be in such a way wherein you guys might need to talk about something to clear something out there is going to be some form of lessons to be learned with that and and with all of this confir confirmation connection and talking to each other clearing th things out um you might actually find like a conclusion into this relationship whether to continue that relationship or whether to decide that it's time to actually literally move on and leave that behind so i feel that there's actually going to be some form of good news happening with this for a lot of libra it's just that it's going to trigger again you know all of the disappointments that you had in the past might come up and this is for you to overcome them so it's not really a very negative way i kind of feel that this is going to be very good in, when it comes to you know a chance to overcome something so to overcome the adversity of the relationship or overcome any adversities with your connection with someone in particular that really um, matters to you especially if they are really really very important to you they will definitely come up during this time um we do have the activation of the eighth house here which i think a lot of signs had this in the estrodise so it might trigger you know quite um a lot of their um a lot of turmoil inside of them i would say and because you have the moon in the sign of sagittarius as well there is also tendency here that you know it's easy for you to emotionally decide something emotionally react and all of that but at the same time that will also help you express your true selves libra and hopefully that can give you answers and you know it can lead you to a path that is meant for you by being true to yourself without holding back you know there is some form of help that can actually be given to you this will help you definitely move forward whether you believe that or not so just keep that in mind so um yeah um this is your reading libra libra sun moon and rising sign i do hope that this somehow give you insight and clarity to your situation just be mindful with um talking to people and you know i know it can be hard during this time especially when mars is being internalized um you it's easy for you to get angry or easy for you to make some form of decisions but by expressing yourself this can actually help you and your situation so just remember that as you go along this month um thank you guys for watching and tuning in with me and i'll speak to you guys again next month